Welcome to Men Are So Smart. Today's episode, we're going to play a game called Tell Me This. I'm going to give you a question. Okay. And you got to dig down deep and you got to tell me the truth. Ooh. Okay? That's not my forte. I, my I know. Uh, this is going to be a real reach, a stretch for you. <laughs> All right, so let's play fun with Tell Me This. Question number one. When was the last time you told a lie? Hmm. I just told my dog we were out of food. <laughs> and what did he say? <laughs> he said, feed me. Yeah. Feed me, Seymour. I don't care. Get me some food. <laughs> mm. Last time I told a lie, wow, I think it was about a month ago. Really? Yeah. A you know what? I, I, I'll, I will say this, though. I do tend to... You know, there's a there's lies and then there's white lies where mm -hmm. you tell somebody something because you don't want to hurt their feelings. Right. I I'm I do those a lot. And that's very similar to my story right there. I'll, I'm just gonna leave it at that though. Yeah. The person watching will know. <laughs> All right. Next up, Ronnie. What is your biggest fear? Mm, I am afraid of wrecking my Corvette. Each time you get in it? Every time I drive it. Mm -hmm. I drove to a car show yesterday down. I drove the river road. And it's narrow. Yeah. And there's cars coming very fast the opposite direction that drive that road every day and are familiar with it. I am. There's accidents there all the time. And I just like, I was overly cautious, I think. I don't yeah. know. It was fun, but it was, there's that pucker factor. <laughs> you mean your sphincter? A little bit. I was sucking up a little bit of the seat cover. <laughs> God, we're two minutes into the show. We've already said the word. All right. What about uh, you? For me, um, God, Ron, I don't want to bring the whole room down, but we are talking about truth, right? Right. This is called Tell Me This, and you got to tell the truth. I got to say, I'm a little afraid of dying. Uh, yeah. Um, and... As each day goes by and I try and live in the moment, I think to myself, how many moments will I have left? Yeah. And um, it all becomes very real when a person has cancer. So um, that's, that's my greatest fear right now. You know what? I'll tell you this. One of my friends is a financial consultant. He says that throughout America... Most Americans' biggest fear, well, at least people of retirement age, their biggest fear is that they will outlive their money. Right. Yeah, that's real. My father-in-law did. Yeah. 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 All right, let's turn the page and go to the next one, which is, Ronnie, what is your guilty pleasure? Ooh, probably some Ben and Jerry's uh, Ch Cherry Garcia ice cream. I love that stuff. God damn. It's funny how you go for that. Uh, mine is uh, Winco brand mini donuts chocolate. Ooh. They do such a good job with the chocolate. When you dip those in ice cold milk, the chocolate gets a little bit harder and kind of crunchy. When, oh, my I've God. Not had their, uh, oh, man. There's one just not two miles from here. Yeah. I might have to go check that out. Uh, oh, for sure. It, you know, it, As opposed to the Hostess brand, the, the Winco store brand are really good. That's what we typically get, or the Hostess. How about this one And Tell Me This? What is the craziest event you've ever been to? And I, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Most of them involve uh, sheriff I knew activities. It. I figured as much. <laughs> uh, picnics. Uh -huh. Probably the absolute craziest one, though, was a sheriff's bachelor party that I went to. Oh, my. Uh, I've seen those only in the movies. We, I left when I heard the first sirens coming. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. You know... No, I, you you would have divulged cop secrets by now if you wanted them to be known. But I just know <laughs> yeah. you, they can get kind of crazy at parties. They're a little, yeah, a little off the chain. All right. Um, for me, the craziest event I ever went to was back in 1978. And a busload of my buddies went down, not a busload, a van load of buddies went down to an Aeros, Aerosmith concert at the Cow Palace. Oh, yeah. How crazy was it? Well, let me put it to you this way. We had a keg in the van. 
Nice. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's thinking ahead right there. And I will tell you this. It was the loudest concert that I've in t attended in my entire life. And there was this, I was on the floor and I was maybe, at, I don't know, a hundred feet or so from the stage. There was this guy in front of me who was rocking out hard, Ronnie, rocking out hard. And man, he looked like he was under the influence of everything. <laughs> you, you don't have enough breathalyzer <laughs> technology for this guy. And so I'm watching him and I'm watching him and all of a sudden, you know that look that somebody gets when they're about to pass out, they start to sway a little bit. I bet yes. you've seen it. Yes, many this times. This guy went down, and you go backwards. Sometimes. You, I thought you usually when you pass out, you go backwards. This guy passed out right in front of me. His head hit the cement floor, and it was so loud, it was louder than Aerosmith. Yeah. And it was the loudest concert I'd ever been to. It's a sickening thud when that happens. It really was, and I heard yeah. it over the music. Yep. Craziest event I'd ever been to. We're playing Tell Me This, and you got to tell the truth. We're hoping that you're playing along with us as well. Why don't you take a chance? Uh, so when was the last time you peed yourself? Um, I'd say 20 minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, honestly, for those of you that are new to the show, I'm Lou, and um, I went through prostate cancer. And I'm a survivor. Uh, he, when you have your prostate removed, you go through a transition period, which you hope does not last very long. <laughs> yeah. But you're not always in control of your faculties. And one morning we were doing this show right here in this garage, and I had a little accident. <laughs> and for about the next hour and a half, I was sitting here next to Ronnie, and he was kind enough not to say anything, but I could smell it. Uh, so, yeah, it was honestly uh, about a year ago. Now, and man, right along those same lines, when you get to be this age, mm -hmm. certain things like holding your hand under water while it's or even hearing water running yeah. makes me have to pee super bad. It does. But the other thing is sneezing. And I have sneezed and let out just enough that it's like... Oh, you've had to pee? Yes. And <laughs> My wife does that. Yeah, man. I thought it was a chick thing, too, honestly. But I did. I peed myself a little yeah. bit when I sneezed. All right, see, it's all about honesty in this game. It's called Tell Me This. Next up, Ronnie, what's the worst dream you ever had? Oh, man. I'll tell you, being in law enforcement, I have dreams that I'm either shooting someone or someone is shooting me mm -hmm. and they're they're frightening you wake up in a little bit of a cold sweat oh i can imagine yeah, yeah. what about for you well uh back uh many years ago in the 70s i had an injured back and i was taking um valium i think it was or vicodin one of the two and i had been on it for about 10 days and could not get out of bed one night i had a dream that there was no roof over my bedroom and a sheriff's helicopter was flying overhead and circling and as I looked up at it, the door on the side opened and a guy leaned out of the helicopter with a rifle and shot me right through the head. It was Bo Hopkins, <laughs> the actor. Which is from uh, American Graffiti. Yeah. 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 I know Pharaoh. I know Bo. I've met Bo before. We did. We yeah. met Bo at the Autorama here yes. in, in Sacramento a few years ago. That's, That's a, my story right there. That is a terrible dream. It was, and I woke up instantly as soon as he shot me in the head. I wouldn't pass that on to Bo, though. He mm. might take exception to and it. Then I, and I thought right at that moment, I thought, you know what? I'm done taking medicine. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. I'm done, I baby. think I'm off the Vicodin. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you just this year? I sent a text to the wrong person. Oh, boy, you know what? See, mine is the same thing. I have sent sent a message to someone that should not have It wasn't have intended it. for, yeah. Yeah, and it's... Yeah, that's the same story. With me. Yeah. It didn't go well. Uh, what habit can't you seem to quit? Tell me this. Uh, you know what? When I go to Costco or Sam's Club, I could have just eaten, but I have to get hot dog... And a soda. And a soda. Yeah. It's like a buck twenty-five, right? Uh, I think it's a buck ninety-nine. A buck ninety-nine. Yeah. Um, it's easy. That's an easy one for me. 
internet porn? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be honest with No, smoking. There oh, you go. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, yep. if you, as if you couldn't tell from my voice. <laughs> All right, next up, Ronnie. Who is your celebrity crush? Easy. Easy. I'm sure it's it probably the same for both of us. The most beautiful woman in the entire world, Jennifer Aniston. Bing, yeah, nailed it. No question. She's amazing, even at her age, which is, she's still young. I mean, by by my measure. Oh, right, younger than us. Uh, uh, she's you know stunning. I, go ahead. She, she's absolutely beautiful. I, she has amazing skin, her figure, uh, her face. Her hair. Her hair. Everything How about, I just package. saw We Are the Millers. Did oh, yes. That? Oh, my God, her in those capri pants. Yes. Oh my God, she was so beautiful. Is uh, you have to see the original? Um, I think it's called Mean Bosses. Yeah, she is in that, and she yeah she she is she's just beautiful. see. Here's my take on this. Since we're being honest, um, you know that guy she just married Justin Thoreau or whoever, it was, right? And then they they split up, right? She only married him because she hasn't met me yet, right? Seriously, I don't make this stuff up. Yeah. It's just, you know, she hasn't met me yet. If she had, uh, she wouldn't have married him. Uh, and we'd be living happily to ever, forever in the Gallagher compound. Now, my wife, she might have something to say about that, but we'll we'll build on to the house. See, now, my wife, she's given me a pass on, uh, on Oh, Jennifer. I have a pass, too. Yeah, so the, if she, Jennifer ever meets me, mm -hmm. decides she can't live without me, mm -hmm. my wife says it's cool. All right, next up. Has anyone ever accidentally seen you naked, and if so, who? I think anybody who's seen me naked, it's it's for a reason, but it's typically at the gym. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah. But here's my thing at the gym, I I'm in naked for basically as short a time frame as possible. Right. However, there are older men. Oh, yeah. That are... Does that still happen? They do their hair. Yeah, they got to be naked the whole butt time. Butt-ass naked. Right. They, oh, man, they dry every... Hey, first thing I do, underwear goes on. Yeah. Um, right. It's, that's courtesy. I'm not, I'm not ashamed, but you know what? Uh, come on. Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, when I was going through recovery, um, my kids saw everything. Oh, yeah. They're, you know, you... you there's humility involved um, with that, but yeah, okay. Yep. All right, would you stop talking to all of your friends? We're playing a game here. It's called Tell Me This. Would you stop talking to all of your friends for a million dollars? All of your friends. That includes me. Mm, yes. Okay. Yep. What about you? I would do it for $25. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, at least you have a dollar amount in mind. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has a price, Ron. <laughs> Mine just happens to be a little low on that one. Who was your first crush, Ron? You know what? There was a girl at El Camino High School. Uh, she was probably my first real crush. Her name was Julie Massbrook. Mm. She was in band with me. A band nerd. One yep, time. She was a band, band nerd. Camp. Yep. And she was just very super sweet. Uh, super innocent. We both were. She was my she was my first crush. Well, my first crush happened in fourth grade when I first moved to California from New Jersey, and uh, it was this young girl named Erin Kondratiev, uh, uh, and she and I just fell in puppy love together, um, and I think that was kind of a crush. We wrestled a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I still love her and, and she's married and has many kids and has a wonderful life. But I used to have this crush on this girl called Linda Sutfin. Hmm. And she was a junior when I was a sophomore. Oh. And she was a cheerleader. Oh, dang. And you know, I always wanted to ask her out, but I never did because she was this junior. And you know what? That year at yearbook signing, she wrote in my yearbook, I wish you would have asked me out. Yeah. <clears throat> Regrets. Yeah. You know I've had a few. There was a thing in high school, though, where it seems awkward to 
date or to go out with an upper class person. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because they're so much older. They have so much more right. experience. Yeah, a, a whole year. year. Yeah, yeah. Whereas it's okay for a female to go out with an older guy in right. high school. Right. I mean, it's almost expected. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the other way around, it's a little awkward. I think the girls would make fun of the girl. Uh, you know, probably. Oh, really? A sophomore? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see. What do we got next? Um, oh, this is a good one. You take it. <clears throat> would you ever cheat on your significant other if they said it was okay? So they basically, they're giving you a pass. And this is all hypothetical. Hypothetical. Sure. <laughs> sure I would. It would really depend on the girl. It would have to be Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> or, or some derivative thereof. See, for me, my thing, and I tell people this all the time, if an alien from another planet came down here, and she looked like Jennifer Aniston, mm -hmm. and I had been given a pass, right. I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? Because my fear is that this alien is going to become... Uh, stage five Klingon and I'm not going to be able to get rid of her and uh, yeah Ronnie you've thought too much about this I one. really I put a lot of thought into it so no this concerns me <laughs> I'm not cheating really no even with the past I'm not cheating what about one of those sex robots uh, no <laughs> I okay don't, I don't see anything in that for All me right. well let's see <sighs> Ronnie do you have a secret talent you know what I can play ukulele Oh, that's right. Yeah. So a lot of people know I play guitar. Mm -hmm. Ukulele is completely different. The chords are all completely different. But I have mastered a few songs on ukulele. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, at one point, I learned how to play the banjo. Not very well. I would love to play the banjo. Do you remember when I had a banjo? I don't. Oh, no. that might have been before you. God yeah. Darn. I learned some really basic chords. And I could pick it a little bit. It was fun. It seems pretty complex. If you me. were a superhero, what would your power be? I want to be invisible. Yeah. Yeah. That way I can go in banks and go to the vault. And right. <laughs> just... Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I'd want to fly. I think I'd actually, yeah, I would want to fly. Yeah. Flying yeah. would be great. Flying would be amazing. Uh, have you ever eaten food from the floor, Ron? About five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You were feeding the dog five minutes ago. Yeah. Well, a couple of his morsels <laughs> fell on the ground and they're good. They're salmon flavored. Uh, <laughs> what about you? Uh, yeah. Uh, last night I was having a shot of tequila and I was down to the last little squeeze of lime uh -huh. and it fell in the garage. Yeah. I wiped it on my pant leg and used it. So The tequila kills the germs, It really right? does. You know? Yeah. It's a five second rule. We, I, we had a street barbecue last Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Last yeah. Saturday. Mm. And we're all sitting out on the street on lawn chairs right. and my my neighbor across the street and he's a funny guy he dropped a stuffed mushroom flat on the street. Ooh, that sounds good. Picked it up, blew it off, and popped it in his mouth. Was it within the five seconds? Well within the five seconds. It was within two seconds. All right, well, we hope that you have learned a lot about us today, and we would love to hear from you. Answer some of these questions in our comment section below. When you comment, we reply. Guaranteed. Yeah. We appreciate your watching. I'd really like to know somebody's celebrity crush. Yeah. Oh, let's start there. Yeah. Yeah. Comment on who your celebrity crush would be below, okay? Uh, you, below, you'll also find all of the ways to get a hold of us. Email, social media, blogs, uh, whatever the case may be. And we ask, uh, if you might be uh, inclined to do so, please subscribe to our channel. Yeah. We've got some new subscribers that are coming in, and we'd like to thank those folks. We appreciate it, and we hope to never let you down. We will continue to bring you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Men are so smart, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.
You know what? It doesn't look uh, doesn't look level again. Just screw it up again. This way. This side up. That looks pretty level. Looks pretty square too. Okay. Hey, Ron. Hey, <laughs> Lou. Hey, uh, you know what we haven't done in a while? What's that? Just done a show that's fun. Like, oh. just nothing, no thinking, just, you know, uh, white noise. A show about nothing. Hey, that's brilliant. <laughs> that could get No time. one has ever done that. <laughs> no, this is ridiculous. I snorted, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ron. Hey, Lou. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't played a game. Ooh. Yeah, just, you know, just mindless stuff. Let's do this. Tell me this. No, that's just, we just suck here. Yeah. I say we, it's me. Sorry. It's, it is, it me. is you. It is. I know it is. It's not, it's not me. It's okay. you. It's, <laughs> it's not you. It's me. All right. Try this again. Here we go. Hey, Ron. Hey, Lou. Why don't we play a game on today's episode? Hmm. No, we can't do that. Hey, Ron. Hey, Lou. I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your idea. Okay. Let's play a new game. Okay. Let's play Tell Me This. Ooh. We're going to do that on the very next Men Are So Smart.